Hi, so this is the follow-up video from the last one. We uh, created a group on the app, so we put the lights in. Now, obviously, I've only got one set of lights and one sensor set up, but had we got several sets of lights, we would have put them into the group. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it in the if this, then that, to uh, get this to trigger. So, again, we want uh, a new applet. So, the trigger would be my home. Now the trigger doesn't have to be in the group, so what I want to do is I want a, a motion sensor. So again, it's pick the stair sensor, so that's my trigger. So I want, if the stair sensor goes off, what I want to do is I want to control a group. So instead of powering on an individual device, I want to power on a group. So it's going to ask me which group, because it knows which groups I've already got set up. So I'm going to power on the lights. And then I create that action, and that's now done. So if the sensor goes off, what that will do is it will then turn on the particular group. In this case, it only has the two items in there. But if I had set that up with the light in the front room, the hall, uh, maybe an outside light, uh, the bedroom light, uh, the bathroom light, it would trigger them all to go on all at the same time, all simultaneously. And then also it would send me a, a notification to say that that app has actually run and then I get the notification. So if I'm away from home, the lights get triggered or the sensor gets triggered, all the lights come on, which should in theory, if anyone is in the house, startle them, and then I'll get a notification of that, and then I can create or do whichever action I want, maybe ring a neighbor or so forth. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll do some more If This Then That videos.